When the invading army swept into the land, they completely crushed the Israelite opposition. The Israelites were helpless. To make matters worse, the Babylonians carried off the smartest and healthiest Israelites to use as slaves and servants in their vast empire. Four of these captives were named Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. When they arrived in Babylon, they were given new names, Belteshazzar, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of the land, was impressed with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He quickly promoted these three men to positions of leadership within his government and gave them authority and power over many. They served as excellent leaders and gained the respect and admiration of the Babylonians. But not everyone liked them. They had enemies. Even though Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were in a foreign land, serving a foreign king, and speaking a foreign language, they still served the one true God. As their power increased, their fellow Babylonian officials became jealous and soon plotted a scheme to get rid of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. One day, these wicked, jealous officials proposed to King Nebuchadnezzar to build a giant statue in his likeness. It would be 90 feet tall and covered with gold. Everyone who saw it would then be commanded to bow down and worship it. These conspiring, wicked officials knew Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would never bow to this statue. The king commanded all the people to come to the celebration and worship the golden image. The herald stood up and spoke to the people who were all looking up at the vast statue. When the music starts, you are commanded to fall down and worship the image. If you don't, you will be thrown into a burning, fiery furnace. And so it began. The music started, and everyone fell down on their faces, worshipping the golden image. All except for three people, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They refused to bow down. They stood tall above the bent-down crowd. Now the enemies of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had their chance. They ran to the king and said, O oh, king, look! These Jews, whom you appointed to government positions, they are disobeying you. They refuse to worship the golden image. Nebuchadnezzar was furious. The three brave men responded, O oh king, even if you throw us into the fiery furnace, our God will protect us. Even if God does not save us, we will never serve your gods or worship the golden image that you set up. Nebuchadnezzar exploded with anger. He was enraged. He roared, Heat the furnace seven times hotter than normal. I want my strongest men to tie these men up and throw them into the furnace. They watched, expecting the men to burn up. But they saw something strange. The men were not burning. In fact, they were walking around in the fire like it was nothing. Nebuchadnezzar looked on in astonishment. Didn't we throw three people into the fire? But I see four people. They aren't hurt, and the fourth one looks like a son of the gods. It was true. There was a fourth person in the fire, someone who was not an ordinary man. God was protecting Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Nebuchadnezzar came as close to the furnace as he could without burning himself up. Shadrach! Meshach and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out and come here. The three men walked out of the fire. They weren't harmed at all. They didn't even smell like smoke. Nebuchadnezzar was a changed man. He gave a new command. Anyone who speaks against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will be punished. There is no other God but the true God who can rescue people like this. And he promoted the Israelite men even higher in his government. <laughs>